Hello! In this video, I'm going to talk about even and odd function. So what is even function? An even function is when the function, by the definition, is if the function fx equals to f of negative x. I'm going to show you what that means. So what does the graph look like? The graph of an even function is symmetric about any vertical axis, the vertical axis, such as, what's that mean? The most easy one is the parabola, the quadratic function. Look, this is symmetric at about the vertical axis. And also, I have another one, which is What's that? Absolute value function. These are also symmetric. So what does that mean? fx equals to f of negative x. Well, here is an example. So if I have a function fx equals to x squared. So now if I take a negative x in the function, what does the function look like? Well, that means I need to substitute negative x into the function. I will have negative x squared. Well, now simplify it. Negative x squared equals to what? Well, the negative sign, when you square them, you will get the original one. The negative will cancel. So now that means what? fx equals to x squared. f of negative x also equals to x squared. So then we can say, hey, fx equals to f of negative x. So that means what? Yeah, this is an even function. There are other examples, such as if I ask you, hey, given you fx, g of x equals to x to the fourth plus x squared, I ask you to check if this is an even function. Again, we already know g of x is equal to x to the fourth plus x squared. Now, we're trying to show if g of negative x equals to the same as g of x. So we have negative to the fourth plus negative x squared. All right. So negative x, you raise to the fourth power. That means you totally multiply the negative one how many times? Four times, right? So eventually they all got cancelled out. You will have a positive number. So here is x to the fourth plus again similar trick x squared. Oh, what happened? These two they equal to the same after they simplify it, right? So that means I can say hey g of x equals to g of negative x. So this is a even function. Okay, so if we have an even function, we will also have an odd function. A function is called odd function if the function fx equals to negative of negative x plus. What's that mean? That means you take the negative into the x, and then you take another negative to the whole fx. So what does the function look like? We learned the transformation. If you take the negative x, the function is going to reflect horizontally, and then we take a negative to the fx, which is take the y. The function is going to reflect vertically. That means the function, what does the graph look like? The graph of a odd function is symmetric about the origin. 
All right. We can talk about the qubit function. So qubit function look like this one, right? So what happens if you take the negative to the function? What does this function look like? It's going to reflect horizontally. So that means the function going to look like this one. It reflects horizontally compared to the previous one. And then from there, from the second step, you reflecting the function again vertically. So I will have what? Well, from the red, I'm going to reflect in vertically. So that means everything mirror vertically. It's going to look like oops, the green light. I don't know why they don't let me cancel that. I'm going to draw here. OK. So compared to the first one and the last one, what happened to them? They mirrored what? About the origin, right? Good. OK. So now let's check why I know that this is a odd function. By the definition, if the function satisfies this condition, fx equals to negative f of negative x, then we can say, hey, this is an odd function. Well, we have the function y equals to s to the cube. Now we need to know what does that function look like. First of all, we take the negative sign inside of x and then take another negative to the whole function. Now we simplify it. Well, negative s to the cube equals to what? We do everything inside the parentheses. We have negative x to the cube, right? So we can remove one negative sign. We need to keep the negative sign, I should say that, because we can remove the parentheses. And then negative, negative, they will give you what? A positive number. So you will have s to the cube, right? So now let's take a look. The original function, fx equals to s to the cube. And now after you take the negative side to x and take another negative sign to the whole function, you end up to the same as cube. So that means these two functions is equal, right? Now we can conclude that, hey, fx equals to negative f of negative x. So if this two is equal, I can say, hey, this is an odd function. Again, some function, they are not even an odd function. They just doesn't fit in this category, such as fx equals to s cubed plus 2s. Well, the first thing is I can ask you, hey, let's check if this is a uh, even function. Well, how do you check even function? We need to check if we take the negative sign after we simplify it, if they will equal to the original function. Well, I have a negative s to the cube plus 2 times negative x. All right, so now we simplify this. So I have a negative s to the cube minus 2x. All right, so these two doesn't look alike, right? If they don't look alike, that means this is not an even function. Now we take the negative from the what we did from the previous step to check if this is a odd function because we already did the first step that we need to take the negative sign inside of x. All right, so we take the whole negative inside. Now we simplify it. By distributing the negative sign inside, we have a positive s cubed plus 2x. Well, what happened? These two equal, right? These two equal means these two equal. So now I can say, hey, fx equals negative f of negative x. 
If these two equal, that means is an off function. That's how you prove them. Okay. So sometimes you may find some function like they're neither odd and even, such as this one. fx equals to 2 to the x. I want you to know hey, if this is odd and even. Well, I'm going to take to check first step. I always check the even function first because that is the first step of checking the odd function. Okay? So now I take the negative sign on x. So this has become what? If there's a negative inside a exponent, this has become 1 over 2 to the x. Well, these two definitely don't look alike from the original function. And now I'm going to check if this is a odd function. I take the negative from the second step. All right, that's it. I can't do any simplify. So now if we take a look, these two, they, they are not equal, right? So that means is neither odd or even function. That would be our conclusion to this example. Okay, so that's it for our even and odd function. Please do the homework because this is, could be very confusing and very common. Um, the key is to plug into the right number. Remember, the first step to check is to check the native x. If, they, uh, if you check the native x, then you will see if this is even. If it's not even, you take the next step is taking the native to the whole function and then try to simplify as much as possible and compare them to the original functions. See if this is it odd or even function. Okay, see you next time.